Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these um, Odin, Odin's Tennessee Pride. Uh, these are the stuffed uh, biscuits. This is a sausage, egg, and cheddar cheese stuffed buttermilk biscuit. Sounds really good. It is 410 calories per biscuit though, so just keep that in mind. Hopefully they're a decent size. Um, so 410 calories, and there's other stuff for you. Wow, the sodium is ridiculous. Dag on. And if you're on a low carb diet, you probably don't want this because it's 49 grams of carbs. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm not on a low carb diet, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, we bought these at Walmart, by the way. They were $3.46 for, you get two in the box. So uh, $3.50, eh, I guess that's not too awfully bad. What is that, $1.75 a piece? Eh, that's not bad. And they were at Walmart, and they're frozen. Um, so you can do it in a conventional oven if you want to. You can bake them. Uh, it takes almost 30 minutes to do, so I'm never going to do that. So we're going to do it in the microwave. So we're gonna, and it says keep frozen, all that kind of stuff. So remove your biscuit from the carton, open one end to vent, place in the microwave, microwave on high for one minute and 50 seconds. No leeway one way or the other, 150. And then let it sit for two minutes and handle with care. It does say, you know, um, adjust heating times as needed, blah, 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 but it's, it's made for an 1100 watt oven, which is pretty close to what I have anyway. So um, that time should be okay. Let me see. This I had pulled. I thought I saw one. Uh, oh, much smaller than I was thinking it would be. That was, uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was, I was expecting bigger than that. I guess that makes sense because that is about half the box. So, so anyway, I'm going to vent one in, put it on a paper plate just in case it leaks any, and get it microwaved, and uh, I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. Um, I did let it sit for two minutes and then I opened it up and then I cut it just so I can show you what's inside. Um, it looks like uh, a biscuit roll with um, eggs and, and sausage and cheese in there. So that's exactly what I would have expected. Um, now that I've cut it open, I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit more because it's really hot. Um, it feels more bagel-y than biscuity on the outside. You can see the skin. See the skin, how it's kind of kind of stretchy. So, uh, so anyway, I'm gonna let this cool off and I'll be back. Okay, it's still pretty hot, but I think it's cooled off enough where I can try it out. So, here we go. The biscuit is biscuit-like. It's not exactly what I would consider a biscuit, but it's um, it's almost more like a roll. Um, and then when you're actually eating it, it does kind of soften up like a biscuit does. So, um, I guess it's it's about as close as you can get to a biscuit. Honestly, I'm most disappointed, which is sad, I'm most disappointed about the sausage. The sausage is not a really strong, good sausage flavor. I mean, I can taste the sausage and I can get the eggs and, and cheese and stuff like that, but the sausage is not, it's not that good, um, spice sauces where you get that savory um you know spices in the sausage it doesn't have that flavor it's more just like a um, ground up pork flavor it's really they, they missed out on the spices in the sausage and needed something else um it's really kind of bland um which is unfortunate because i was really looking for a really good sausage flavor and it's just not there and i literally had just a bite of sausage yum I mean, you can taste the sausage, but it doesn't have any of the spice it should have. So, this one's just an everyday, average sandwich meal. It's a, it's a three all the way for me. Um, I guess it's worth trying out if you really like Tennessee Pride sausage and you want to give it a shot. But beyond that, if you really like sausage and you want that flavor, I think you're better off getting something else because this just doesn't have the flavor for me. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. 